welcome to my channel and today's video i just want to share proving that sapphire needle and a ceramic cartridge cannot damage a record some will tell it has no counterweight i will answer that counterweight is not protecting your record and my explanation to that is this counterweight is only to align your magnet or the coil inside the cartridge that is the main thing about counterweight this is a moving magnet this is the stylus tip if your counterweight is very heavy this magnet here this align it will go in this part here so it will produce a distorted sound if your counterweight is too light this moving magnet will be disaligned at this part and it will produce a distorted so the main reason we have a counterweight just to align the magnet inside the cartridge and this is vice versa for the mc the reverse to this diagram is the mc or moving coil my drawing here is for the moving magnet at the same time for the moving coil so they are all the same so that is the main reason why we have a tracking force and also if you buy a new needle there are some needles or a set needles with cartridge the manufacturer always said tracking force is 1.5 to 3 grams it means that you can vary your tracking force 1.5 to 3 grams only because if you exceed to 3 grams more distortion will produce in my experiment i exceeded until 6 to 8 grams my vinyl record still intact but if they will tell that the more light tracking force so i will try to set this at 0.5 but they cannot set to 0.5 because that is distorted your coil or the magnet inside magnet if mm coil for mc so this part here if you try to put it at 0.5 because they tell always that the harder the tracking force they ruin the record now i will set to 0.5 because to have a, a safe playing of for my vinyl so why they put this 1.5 to 3 grams because this part here is your leeway to adjust your distortion of your player you can adjust more clearer it can damage a record if it will exceeded at 8 grams above that's all i can say so to prove that i will play this one first and put a one peso coin above it i have here a vinyl record by the sonics boom album this is original pressing way back early 60s or 70s and let's try to play on my average turntable So that is the first thing we're gonna do is I will put this one peso coin. This is already at five grams. So if this is five grams, they are all in 10 grams. Okay. So my record did not stop. There. There. I will try again. There. There. There is no such thing. I will say that average turntables can ruin your records i play it in my the sonic boom record and still play the same so that's all my explanation about this one tracking force is not actually to protect your record but to align the magnet if it is moving magnet or to align a coil if it is a moving coil and also 
tracking force of this approximately 5 to 6 grams. It needs that kind of tracking force because the part here, this is the sapphire needle, this part actually here is a rubber and it needs to near to this rubber here so that it can vibrate enough so it can produce a sound to the ceramic here, the two ceramics, okay, left and right. Because if the ceramic cartridge, then we adjust the counterweight and put this at 0.5, the sound is distorted, sometimes intermittent. That's my explanation to that. The more the heavier, the better the sound of the ceramic. But don't exceed to this point here. But here, I'm just exceeding my grams. Uh, the total of that example is 10 grams, so I will not say that it is correct. But I'm only saying and proving that it has a tolerance of the tracking force any kind of vinyl unless if your vinyl is a junk already so that's all hope you subscribe to my channel and as always guys thanks for watching